The long-awaited Samsung Galaxy S8 has arrived at Appalachian Wireless. Get yours for the introductory price of just $149.99 with a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Canoe and kayak enthusiasts are waiting on warm weather and good conditions on area streams and rivers for their first float of the season. And boat owners are busy servicing their engines and making sure they are also ready to hit the water. And officials with the Army Corps of Engineers say that involves a little extra work. The uh, boat with uh, a motor, gasoline or electric motor, has to be registered, has to have numbers displayed on the boat. Every person on board has to have a personal flotation device, and it needs to be one that fits them, and, and they go by weight. But Holbrook says the heavy rain that we've experienced this spring has created water hazards in Fish Trap Lake in the form of trees and other debris. We were uh, recently 37 feet above Summer Pool uh, on the lake, so we, we've still got a lot of debris on the lake, a lot of trees that we haven't gotten off yet. We're working it, but it takes a while to get that cleared off. So I would definitely caution people to watch out for those things that are floating on the lake or maybe floating just below the surface. Because the entire region has had issues with high water this spring, all area lakes are battling extra debris. And it's not the man-made garbage you need to watch out for. About 95% of the debris that is on the lake is naturally occurring material. It is trees. So if you're planning on hitting the water this Memorial Day weekend, remember that little twig sticking up out of the water could be attached to something much bigger. Reporting from Fish Trap Lake in Pike County, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.